Welcome everybody to another exciting episode of HomeKit Insider. You've got me as always, Andrew O'Hara, and not with me today is Steven Splish Splash. I was taking a bath, Robles, who is actually he's out. Um, I'm pretty sure he's doing a punking. It's nothing to do with Ashton Kutcher. It's kind of like cow tipping, but you try to knock over Buddhist monks. Uh, it's very mean. I don't know why he would do that, but uh, he is out this week. So instead, joining me, my much more attractive coworker, not coworker, but <laughs> I guess for today you are my coworker. It is my wife. Faith is hanging out with us today, as well as our little one. If you are watching the video you will see Harrison deftly try to eat Cheerios off the desk yes. while we are recording. So hopefully he's going to behave today. It's a little bit of a coin toss if he's going to sit through the entire podcast. Yeah. But we have so much fun news to talk about today that he's going to be just completely enthralled with that. He's going to do the whole thing for us. Yeah, basically. Yeah, he's take it over, Harrison. 100%. <laughs> Well, starting out the news this week, we have GE launching some new lighting products. So they have the Sync line of products, which has historically not worked with Apple HomeKit, but they've been bringing some of their new products into the, the Matter space. This is not one of them. So they are launching the Sync Dynamic Effects Hexagons. So these are hexagonal shaped panels, similar to the Nanoleaf ones that we had okay. up in our townhome for a while. I um, those. Yeah, so each panel includes six individual zones or segments that can be controlled. So they have directional control for both music and light show, so they can sync with music, do fun stuff like that. Is that what we have? Um, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> we have a lot of lights, so... Yes, that's why I, like, I was trying to run through all of them in my head, and I was like, what, what lights do we have? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, I mean, those ones behind us here that are kind of partially in camera, those are nano leaf ones that are hexagonal. But those okay. are like their natural lines. So they like they add the wood effects, and it's like the warm color uh, coming through. So what's the pricing on those ones? A uh, one forty nine ninety nine uh, for a seven pack, and if you're looking for a ten pack, they are one eighty nine ninety nine. Yeah, and then they do offer uh, expansion kits. So five packs uh, of expansion kits are ninety bucks. Ninety bucks. Okay, that's not too bad then. Moving on, he's very excited about them. I agree. Moving on, <laughs> Akara is updating some more of their stuff. So the G3, which is like their home hub, camera type guy, we have this. It kind of runs a few of our products in our house, uh, but it's been updated to support Matter. So it, it now will support Matter uh, with HomeKit, but there's a, there's a catch because, of course, there's a catch. Always a catch. So if you, if you upgrade this to Matter... While it's already connected to HomeKit, you may end up with duplicates inside of the Home app. So you'll have like the new Matter version, but you'll also have like the HomeKit version. So you have, you'll have two, which is kind of annoying. But if you remove it from HomeKit first, upgrade to Matter, and then add it back to HomeKit, you lose the alarm system functionality. So being able to arm and disarm this with your house and be able to trigger like an alarm to go off, that won't work if you upgrade it to matter first. So it's a little little wonky the way this is like, you know, the way matter stuff is kind of playing out, but it is what it is and at least it's been added. So this will allow you to add other accessories to this that'll then show up in HomeKit. There are Cheerios. <laughs> they just all fell. <laughs> all over the floor. That's the breaking, and that's a plant. Don't eat the plant. That doesn't taste as good, buddy. Finally, um, another piece of news here, not finally, but the Samsung TVs support Matter. And I just thought this was hilarious. There was like a little blurb on The Verge that was saying that they found the most expensive Matter controller. So the new Samsung Neo QLED 8K TV. This thing counts as a Matter controller, a Samsung SmartThings hub. It works as a Thread border router, uh, and there's a Thread Zigbee module on board on this television. So at $8,000, it is the most expensive Matter hub available, but it's also a TV. Now, we don't, we don't have that, but we have been testing a new Samsung TV. Mm. I should have a review, like, actually up soon, but I, Faith, what are your thoughts on this TV we've been playing around with? It's... It's very nice, very nice. Um, actually, when he brought it 
or uh, when we got it, um, he's like, oh, pick anything, anything you want. And I watch Cars on it. <laughs> yes. I want to show off this fancy TV. Ours is not 8K, yes. but it's it's 4K. But other than that, top of the line Samsung one. And I'm like, yeah, you got to check yeah. out this picture quality. I'm thinking something super crazy, <laughs> like maybe like a Marvel movie or something with explosions and someone chooses cars. It's a good go-to. So anyway, the cars on it looks so real. <laughs> And just like just that opening scene of them racing, it was just like it like blew my mind. So I'm like, okay, it's just a TV, whatever. It, it's you're just gonna watch stuff on it. But it it was really nice, and I, we watch a lot of baseball too, so the baseball games were cool on it. Um, but yeah, that's I'd say it was really nice. Yeah, so we've been pretty happy with that. That's it's really mm-hmm. cool. So we'll talk about more on the Samsung TVs a little bit later. But before we continue with the rest of the news, it's time for our first sponsor of this episode one that faith is familiar with they are our friends at factor so yes with the busy fall season just around the corner you might be looking for wholesome convenient meals for your jam-packed days factor america's number one ready to eat meal kit can help you fuel up fast with chef prepared dietitian approved ready to eat meals delivered straight to your door you save time eat well and stay on track with your healthy lifestyle and there are like all these pain points and stuff that Factor wants us to talk about, but we'll talk about a couple things. First, as soon as we did the first sponsor with them, my whole family like jumped on board. My oh, aunt yeah. and uncle had had immediately purchased it, and then she was like, you know, I don't know if I would do this all the time, but the the meals were so good. And we see them like a week later. She's like, yeah, I ordered them again. They're they're really good. I really like these. My grandfather has been trying to. He claims to cook. Uh, <laughs> But really, he's he's heating factor laugh, meals. I can't cook, so. He's heating factor meals. He ordered yeah. them after after he heard about them. He ordered them. He loved them. He got a steak with truffle butter. Yeah, Harrison loves steak with truffle butter too. Um, but he ordered a whole pack of. He ordered the smoothies to add on to his, smoothies and he's been really liking them. So easy, stick them in the microwave or put them in the oven, and you get even better in just literally just a few minutes. They're crazy cool. Faith, what have you thought about our factor meals? I really like them. I didn't even I didn't even know we were getting them, and they are so easy to make. I, again, I am not a cook either. If I can, if I like to bake, so yes. if I can bake it, I'll make it. But cooking, not my thing. And it was so easy. You can have them for lunch, dinner. They're just so so simple to make, and anybody can can pop them in. And yeah, unrelated, them unrelated from our ad tonight. What are you having for dinner tonight? Oh, I am having the factor meal. <laughs> There you go. Yes. There is your dinner. Yep. So head to factor <laughs> factormeals.com slash homekit50 and use code homekit50 to get 50% off. That's code homekit50 at factormeals.com slash homekit50 to get 50% off. So thank you again to Spans or to Span yeah, to Factor <laughs> for sponsoring this episode of Home Kit Insider. So more news, and I'm pretty excited about this one. I think Faith is too. Yes. I know this one too. So we have a lot of speakers in this house. We always have. So many. So many. But and it's a good problem because we love listening to music, but also. We're probably we're probably going to be having to get one more For coming sure. up next month because it seems like the new unannounced Sonos Move 2 has been leaked. Yeah, The Verge had an exclusive article. They've had a lot of exclusive Sonos stories, so they must have somebody tied in over there at Sonos. Uh, but they they basically spoiled the whole thing on the Sonos Move 2. So if you oh, don't no. want to know what is coming in the Sonos Move 2, you I should skip off. this portion of the episode. Go to the next chapter. But uh, the new Sonos Move 2, it's coming in a new green color, okay, and color. it's got a bunch of other cool new features. So what else we got lined up? Um, so it has um, a 24-hour battery life instead of the 10-hour one it currently has. Um, it carried over redesigned controls, and you said it, it they're raised now, right? They're not on the flat. Yeah, so like the current one has a completely flat top, and if anyone remembers like the Era 300 and the Era 100, I'm pretty sure one of them, if you hold this thing, I got it. this child uh, okay. that we have, I actually have one of the Sonos speakers here. You can lift them up. So for people watching on camera, this is the Era 300. So spatial audio with this guy. And on top, uh, they have these three-dimensional kind of controls. There's a groove. It's not picking up too much on camera. It's a little close. But 
there's a groove along the top that you can use to kind of slide back and forth and it'll be easier to control. So these redesigned controls are coming to the Sonos Move 2. So that's another of the new features. Oh, and then it also has a USB-C line in audio. Yes, which I think also was a new feature on the Era 300 and 100, but you have to buy the adapter. You have to buy the USB-C audio adapter to make it work. Um, How much are those usually run? Do I know? don't know. I'm going to guess like 20, 30 bucks if I know mm -hmm. Sonos. Um, that would be my guess. Okay. But they're available now for like the other speakers, so we can look them up. And uh, silly me, I'm just asking a question for a friend. <laughs> can you use that with anything else, or is it just for the Sonos speaker? The, uh, the line and audio adapters? Yeah. I mean, anything that you have line and audio over USB-C, that would probably theoretically work with, because I'm sure it's just a analog to USB-C adapter. Okay. So that USB-C port can also now act as a power output to charge up your phone. And this is funny because I had asked Sonos. So I was at the Sonos launch event for the original Sonos Move in New York. And one of the things I asked was like, okay, you've got this powerful battery, which at that point was 10 hours. Now we're more than double that. And I asked him like, do you, are you able to use this speaker on this massive battery to like charge your phone while you're like out in your yard? And they're like, nah. Uh, we don't think it's enough and we don't think people would necessarily do that. I think they were more focused on the speaker itself, but uh, apparently that changed now that they have over 24 hours of capacity in there, which that's I'm... That's a long time. Yeah, that's I mean, crazy. Over double what they have now? Yeah, I mean, you easily take that with you, like camping or something over a weekend and you have power and battery life for, for almost the oh, entire yeah, time. Yeah. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, it still has a replaceable battery on the inside, so it can you know, have a good lifespan to it. Been upgraded with Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5. The charging stand has a removable cable now. Um, it supports stereo output, so they've been focused a lot on like the 3D audio and everything like that. So this does have stereo output now. There's actually dual drivers angled out. So you'll have left and right dedicated drivers plus this single woofer. So it'll be, I'm sure it's gonna be two, two mids or tweeters and then a singular woofer for this guy. Other things, this can do Bluetooth audio, but it can play the Bluetooth audio throughout the rest of your house, which is something the original could not do. So the original, you could do Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, like we'll take this to the pool, works on Bluetooth, mm -hmm. but this one you can like Bluetooth to the speaker and then that speaker will also connect to Wi-Fi at the same time and then transmit your Bluetooth audio to the rest of your Sonos system over Wi-Fi, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and like I said, it'll come in black, white, and this new olive green color. Yeah, here, okay. Faith, we can check it out. If uh, if Steven adds album artwork for us, there it is. There's the new green color. Okay, that's really cool. She likes it. That means we can buy okay. it, guys. That means, means oh, we can I'm buy it. I'm a sucker it. for anything green, but that's that's really cool. You heard it here, folks. She's a sucker. As she's wearing a green shirt in today's oh. episode. Yep, there you go. Just sticking with it. Um <laughs> This is the, I was going to bring the, the Sonos Move and I grabbed the, the Roam. This is their tiny oh, portable right. one. It's like you can fit in like a water bottle holder. But the, the Move is much bigger and it's more powerful. Yeah. And it's, it's probably our go-to speaker for most oh, things yeah. outside. For If we're doing uh, yard work or even down at the pool, we'll grab that one. Um, that's, that's a pretty good one yeah. to go to. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, moving on with the news, Eero. Amazon owned Eero, so the Eero 6 routers are getting an upgrade, or they should be uh, already upgraded now, and they can act as thread border routers for HomeKit users. So it's really nice. Those will be an additional border router alongside a HomePod, some NanoLeaf stuff, Apple TVs, all of those. I'm talking about Hue. So actually, this is like there was like two pieces of news that came out that kind of backed uh, up one another. So originally, on an investor call, the CEO of Signify, Eric Rondelot, Rondolat, Rondolat, Roundabout, one of those. Uh, but the CEO of Signify had said that they were going to be coming out with at least one camera and it'll support end to end encryption. And then after that, Hugh Blog, it's a German blog who has given us some good Hugh news in the past ahead of time. Uh, they said they're coming out with, with like three or four cameras. So there's a wired camera that's priced at around 220 bucks US. There's a, they say wired desktop camera. I'm not sure what exactly that one is. I don't know what a 
like a desktop security camera is, so we'll have to kind of see how that fits in. But there's a battery powered one and then a floodlight one. So the battery powered one is priced at roughly 275 US and the floodlight one is pushing 400 US. So four different cameras coming out of Hue. And on top of that, they're apparently supposed to have sensors as well. So we're gonna have cameras and sensors joining the Hue lineup. And of course, what everyone's wondering and that we don't know is whether or not these are gonna support HomeKit. Like HomeKit natively, are these gonna support HomeKit secure video? Which is a big thing for for Faithers here. Yeah, well, mainly because they watch it through the Home app. Yeah, exactly, because we have all those Arlo ones, and do you use the Arlo app? I don't, because I never remember my password. <laughs> it's yeah. always a thing. So, so she'll watch those live yeah. in the Home app, but you can't watch, the, you or you <laughs> won't watch the recordings, mm -hmm. because you have to go to a separate app for it so it, it's just easiest to have it all right in there on the home app but well especially if you just want to if you want to see all the cameras at once the home app is so much better like you can see the front the back the sides like all the different manufacturers between the arlo doorbell cam the mm -hmm. uh cara doorbell cam on the backyard the e floodlight cam the arlo cams like on the chicken coop and um, the basement circle view camera like yeah. eco v we've got in the living room basically all the cameras from all the manufacturers in one spot. Yeah. At least when the, at least when I have the Arlo's charged. All right, well, hey, I forget too, so I, I can't <laughs> say anything either. It's like, why is this camera not working? Because you have to charge it. <laughs> yes, true story. True stories, yes. Well, we have two new smart switches from Casa, TP-Link Casa's line. These support Matter, so new Matter switches that work natively with HomeKit and Apple Home. Um, there's the KS205 Smart Wi-Fi Light Switch and the KS225 Smart Wi-Fi Light Dimmer Switch. Uh, they say they support advanced scheduling and timer, automatically turn lights on and off when users are away from home. Uh, there's an away mode for added security by simulating at-home presence. Uh, voice control, so of course we can do things like through Apple Home, Amazon's Assistant, Google's Assistant, uh, smart things, all of those. Uh, there's actually some discounts, so if you're in the market for some smart plugs or smart um, smart outlets, smart switches, this might be a good deal. So 20% off the KS205, that's your regular light dimmer, with code 20 KASA CASA MATTER. So KASA MATTER. And the same thing, 20% off the KS225, that's your dimmer switch. 20 K A S A M A T T E R. So 20% off both of those. I think that runs through the end of the month, if I'm not correct. So some discounts. That's good. Yeah. Absolutely. Finally, the last piece of news Roborock. Familiar with Roborock, right? I sure am. <laughs> of all the vacuums, which one we still use in the house? Definitely the Roborock. Yeah, uh, Roborock is joining the CSA, which is the parent organization that runs Matter. Um, alongside the CSA, or sorry, alongside Roborock, we also had Keurig, Keurig Dr. Pepper, also join the CSA. So it doesn't mean, like, imminently we're getting Robovax in HomeKit, but at least they should be coming soon. Hopefully, like, maybe not imminently, maybe not this year, but I think that's something that's been on the radar. Like the last time we had like the CSA on the podcast, I think they were kind of like, you know, they seemed they seemed like hinting that that's something they're keeping an eye on, right? Um, I think we're waiting for those like extra appliances and Robovacs and all those to show up like in the home app, which would be far easier to run. Yeah. Use your voice, not another app that you have to use. Mm -hmm. Though I, the thing with Robovacs is there's so much that they do. Like you're choosing rooms. Mm -hmm. Your, your level of suction and everything, like the 3D mapping. I don't know how that could all actually live in the home app, but maybe you can just set it up and then you can still run these scenes with your other accessories. I mean, I'd yeah. be at least happy with that. Yeah, maybe just set them in the home app, but then if you want to customize them, you have to go through their app, which that, it's not bad. I mean, their app is user-friendly and everything, but definitely nice to have everything in one place. Before we get on to our final part of this episode, we have to thank our second sponsor, Someone that we both know very well. Who we got, Faith? ZocDoc. That's right. ZocDoc. The doc you got. That's not. That's still not their tagline, but I'm going to keep trying it. It's fun to say, though. Maybe they'll yes. adopt it because we said it enough. Um, but no, right. both Faith and I have used ZocDoc in the past. 
ZocDoc, if you are not familiar somehow, ZocDoc is a free app where you can find amazing doctors and book appointments all online. We're talking about booking appointments with thousands of top-rated, patient-reviewed doctors with specialists or and specialists. You can filter specifically for ones that take your insurance and are located near you and treat almost any condition that you are searching for. Um, and they all have verified reviews from actual patients, which is such a big deal. Uh, you, like, you can't trust reviews anymore online for restaurants, for anything on Amazon. I wouldn't trust them. But ZocDoc has actual verified patients reviewing these doctors, which gives you so much more peace of mind before you go in and see someone. And I also, you maybe you like the, the the commercials that ZocDoc has right now on TV. They're also oh, very, yes. they are yeah. very funny. I shouldn't like funny. endorse their other commercials yeah. because clearly Home Kid Insider is the premier place for ZocDoc to right? advertise. Only place, uh, yes. But they're also very good commercials. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, tell us about you using ZocDoc last time. Um, I thought it was amazing. I um, actually went to the doctor's office, and there was, I'm not kidding, there was a line. I Yeah, so you booked this ahead of time. I did. Online. I booked it ahead of time before I left the house, and I'm like, okay, that's fine. So I go in, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to be here a while and just kind of be prepared <laughs> that I'm going to be here for a while. And I got probably to, like, the middle of the line, so maybe, like, five minutes, and they called my name. And they're like, Faith? And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's me. Like, I was not expecting to be called. And they took me right back. And I I skipped everybody. Like, yeah. everybody in front of me, I skipped them. And I got out, like, 20 minutes, maybe, my whole appointment. And I was on my way. And these people are still waiting in the waiting room. Yeah. Don't be one of those people. Don't be standing around waiting in the waiting room. Book your appointment online mm -hmm. with ZocDoc. And it's totally worth it. Plus, you can do telehealth appointments. You can do in-person appointments. Like, whatever you need. You can filter by all of this stuff. So, if you haven't already, go to ZocDoc.com slash HKI and download the ZocDoc app for free. F-R-E-E, -E, free. Then find, a, find and book a top-rated doctor today. That is Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash HKI. ZocDoc.com slash HKI. Thank you again to ZocDoc for sponsoring this episode and for existing because yes. you have you have helped us many times. I agree. Um, yeah, thank you again to ZocDoc. So, last thing here to wrap up our episode, we have talked about this before. Uh, I've talked about it a little bit. Faith may have mentioned it early on, but we are talking about some uh, baby tech. So, if you are uh, expecting or recently had a kid. You may have been in this position, but with this product, we were actually asked a bunch, like, oh, if you are, have you heard of this or are you going to get one of these? And uh, we didn't know what it was. Mm -mm. Once we had one of these, the first question everyone had was, oh my gosh, is it worth it? And uh, since then, we're still getting that question. For sure. Yeah, I yeah. literally just got it like two weeks ago. Someone was asking uh, someone at my parents' office, hey, what's the best bass net around? And he's like, oh, this one that my... Uh, son and daughter-in-law had it. it was, they raved about it. So we're talking about the snoo. The snoo. Yes. It is a... Um, I'll go over the kind of the high-level stuff, and Faith can tell you about our first time using it and what the experience was like and kind of whether or not it was worth it. Because this is a pretty, pretty expensive, not inexpensive piece of hardware. But basically, it is a smart-connected bassinet. So you plop your little one down into it. You strap them in, basically, in like a little baby straight jacket kind of situation <laughs> uh, with their arms at the side. Mm -hmm. And there's little wings that come out the back that go into safety clips inside the bassinet. It keeps them far from any of the walls. They aren't able to turn over. So you're covering your bases in terms of like baby safety stuff, right? Uh, I believe it's been rated like the safest bassinet out there and I kind of see why because there's so many safety restrictions um, and then you hit the button or start it in the app and it will jiggle your baby it will wiggle them back and forth kind of like a fish type situation mm -hmm. um, but it'll wiggle them and it'll help them go to sleep and stay asleep so it's it's pretty neat what was your uh, what was your thoughts when we brought this thing home well, I actually, I didn't know what it was at first, and everybody was asking me, and I'm like, I don't know what a snoo is, but okay. And um, when I started looking it up and we started researching a little bit, I'm like, there's, okay, it, it rocks your baby to sleep, okay, how how good can this be? Like, I, I don't know. I was like, what, what, how is it any different than a regular bassinet? On top of that, too, 
from there's there's regular bassinets. Then we've seen other bassinets. Like if you're just looking at a bullet point list, you can find a smart bassinet, quote unquote, smart bassinet for like two hundred dollars, two three hundred dollars maybe, mm-hmm. um, even up to four hundred dollars. But that is still a lot different in price in terms of what a snoo is. So yes. if they both do kind of the same thing. What's the difference between like something like that and the snoo? How is this so much more like? Why would it be worth it? I think with the I say cheaper one, but I I like that the snoo that you can rent it, so it's more affordable, and then that way you can return like after six months you can just return it, and that's one less piece of furniture that you have, and then you can send it on to somebody else who would like to use it. Um, but I mean, it it was night and day between the two. He would not go to sleep in the other one um but then when we put him in this one i think it's just how he was bundled up and the way it it definitely was a little terrifying at first when they when he was crying and it was like set high and his head oh he has a big head but it was just like pop, 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 pop. i was like is this okay like are we going to it looked a little up? it looked a little terrifying because yes. his little head was just flopping back and forth and as someone like we weren't like I wasn't like overly protective about stuff. Neither of us no, were. No, not at all. We're, we're super. It looks about kind it. of ridiculous and dangerous. <laughs> yes. And I like turned to Google, and I'm pretty sure Snoo has a literal help document. Like, for, yes, is this is this safe for my baby? Should my like, my baby's head wiggle so much? And yeah, yes, it is. It is a normal amount of wiggle. Mm-hmm. It is an expected amount of wiggle. Um, and once he got a little bit older, because that was like right out of the gate, this will last them until they're six months. So it's not for kids outside of six months. Um, so it's a fairly limited time to use it. But after even just a couple of weeks, when he had a little bit more head strength, bigger neck, I think that that helped mm-hmm. a little bit. Didn't look as much, but um, yeah, it's kind of crazy how much better it was. Than the cheaper one. It was. One. I, like, I, you know me, I'm just like, okay, whatever. We don't need the big fancy things or anything like that. But after we used it a couple times, I'm like, there, there is a significant difference between the two. Um, and then, of course, I was worried. And I was like, well, what if he's crying and it just rocks him back to sleep, but he actually needs food? He will tell you that he needs food. Right. So there is a, there's a difference there too. But, um, but yeah, and it, it'll help you, you know, get a little bit of rest while you're still feeding at night um but again there i mean there's nothing wrong with a normal snoo or if you just want to get a, a cheaper one that works better for you that's great too but definitely definitely wor- lo- worth looking into the snoo i think yeah i think one of the big things that would wake kids up would be like they kind of like hit their face and then like yeah smack I didn't themselves. Know that. yeah yeah so this is a, essentially is like it has the swaddle built in because mm-hmm. it holds their arms to their sides they Which get they like love. I found that out too. strapped in and wiggle but their legs and hips are free so they're you're not going to restrict their hips which is a big deal and then oh little man we're okay we're okay we're <laughs> as okay. he's binging cheerios yes. on this episode but it'll it'll keep their hips free their legs free but their arms are held down so it gives them that swaddling effect but they can still kind of um, move. They can't flip over anything. Can't hit themselves in the face. And for more advanced sleepers, you're getting to that five, six month territory. You can actually un uh, clip, unpop, unsnap the shoulders and pull their arms out. So you don't have to have their arms tucked in, but they can still have like the embrace of a swaddle because it'll still wrap around their stomachs to give them kind of that hug. So you still have that benefit in there too. So I think it is a it is a surprisingly effective bassinet. Control from your phone. You do get the alerts when they wake up. It can play white noise for your little one. You can adjust the volume. There's a safety mode for when they're really young and you don't want to turn it up all the way. You can actually remove level four. Um, But as they start to wake up in the night, it'll start to rock them to get them back to sleep. Uh, If they wake up more, it'll rock them a little bit more, raising the level uh, as they they cry more, fight more. And then we'll drop back down as they get back to sleep. But we love this thing. This has been... I think it alerts you, too, if he's been awake for too long. Yeah. So that's, you know, if obviously you, you hear him, but um, just as an extra safety feature. And it'll um, turn it'll turn off. It'll turn off, and, and it'll be like, okay, he, like, really needs attention here. But, um, but again, you could probably hear them. Yeah. Um, it's got a really good build quality and everything, and there's a reusable box. So if you are renting it, you just literally, the legs kind of pop back out. You put them back in. and yeah, super simple. Back in the mail, back to snoo. I must to someone new. Too. Ha. Okay, there's there's a good rhyme. Thanks. So good. 
Um, I did because they're like you have the mattress pad and it like wiggles back and forth. I actually I like shoved my fingers down there because I'm like I wonder because when you open up that sleeve and mm-hmm. you put his arms through, I was like I wonder if he could like get his finger stuck in here. Nope, you can't. You, it's perfectly safe. Yeah, oh, the whole thing. She tried. I did. I tried. Yeah, just for fun. Cause why not? Absolutely. Yeah. So. I don't know. Like it definitely is still a a large purchase. You're still only using it for a limited amount of time, yeah. but I think it I think it was a really really neat thing to try out. Mm-hmm. I think it benefited him. It helped us get more sleep and and stop those errant times where he just woke up from something silly, whether it was hitting himself in the face or just trying to toss and turn. It I think it was worth it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So if anyone's interested, there are links for it mm-hmm. in the show notes in the description. Um, thank you to Faith. For joining us today thank you for as having. well as the little man yeah. who got into everything and made a mess and That's made some like noises <laughs> for the episode can't believe he's getting so big already it's crazy it's been so fun though yes it has been very fun yes. uh everyone go do all the normal stuff that steven tells you to do go give us a 10 star 20 star 30 star rating on apple podcast go ahead and find us on youtube youtube.com slash homekit insider you can watch this episode where we are human jungle gyms for this tiny <laughs> monkey <laughs> go ahead and ask any questions you've got reach out to steven reach out to me uh, you can find me on twitter at andrew underscore osu you can find me on threads at andrew hara 941 uh you can find faithers where can they find you um on instagram at faith o'hara 89 oh my goodness faith o'hara <laughs> 89. That's there you not go. To say. We'll link it in the show notes yes, to make it easier. Thank you. <laughs> but otherwise, we have more episodes coming. We'll catch you guys next week. Bye.